Welcome back travelers, it is Slot of Havoc and we are back playing a little Project Ozone 2 in Kappa mode. That is right, we are back. We beat the end, we beat the Aether, and now I think it's time to beat the Nether, right? We've been there and we've been in and out and I haven't taken the time to go get myself a Wither kill. And with big old bad, I want to, you know what? We're naming this bad boy. I think I, I think I have an anvil in here. I think I have one in here. Anvil. I don't really. Okay. Well, I can make one real quick. Right. We're gonna name this guy. And I'm gonna name him something goofy, something simple, nothing special. It's no longer the Lumium crossbow. He is Mister B A. If you know what that means, awesome. If you don't, that's good. <laughs> Um, hopefully that's just a visual glitch. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So we got Mr. BA here, right? Mr. BA does his job. So today I was thinking we need to go kill the wither, right? And the reason I was thinking that was because, well, of course I'm looking at my quests and we're pretty, pretty close to finishing up on alpha. Now there's a couple of things I could do. Like the knapsack is real, real simple. And we're, we're going to get to that. Also the furnace upgrades is actually really, really simple. And we're going to get to that. But I, uh, there's just no huge need until I can get what I need for this, which the hell furnace we need uh, red gems, which I believe are an Erebus, I believe. I never, you know, let me look at that real quick. Red gem. Is it all one word? Yeah, it's all one word. Okay, yeah, it's Erebus. So is it Erebus? Maybe it's Erebus. I'm going to go with Erebus. Anyways, we got to take a trip to Erebus to get the red gems, and we're not there yet. And until we really get the fire furnace and then the, the what is it, the ultimate furnace or whatever it's called, uh, the extreme furnace, I'm not really worried about doing the furnace upgrades. But once we do, I'm, I'm pretty sure this thing is pretty freaking sweet too, right? And Oh, you know what? Here's something I haven't done. Topiary grass. Um, grow these and make juice out of them. Will keep you from going hungry well until you want something more filling. Interesting. How do we do topiary grass? Yeah. It's just going to be a nice little day of getting a couple quests done and being productive. So let's look this up. Topiary grass. Topiary grass is just made with a piece of dirt and four seeds. Well, we can definitely rock that. However, where are those other colored ones? Oh, there we go. Uh, just a blue dye and a red dye, really? That's that's all there is to it. Oh, and then topiary grass gives us... That actually could be kind of useful. Um, just because eventually I do want to get away from Cobble World and start actually having a, a grassy home area. And yeah, that would be something to work on. I Actually, we might make a dirt stick today, too. I love my mud stick, so... let. Oh, I probably have some a little bit of dirt in here. Let's see. Do I have some dirt? I do. All right, cool. So you like that. And let us get some, sell some seeds. Um, I don't really want to use my 555s, five, five, but, or my 10, 10, 10s. Uh, I hope cactus seeds work. Because if cactus seeds work, we're covered. Yep, there we go. Perfect. All right, and then I need a piece of lapis, which I may not actually, oh, no, I've got 200. I was like, I may not have any lapis in here. Just because, well, how many do I need of each, by the way? Uh, 12, 6, and 6. Okay, so I'm going to need to make more of those. So, um, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, there we go. And so there you go. Got you. And then um, I'm going to need some red dye. I have two. So we can make the first two. Thank you. And then we need to make more of the topiary grass, which is pretty simple. So what was it? Topiary. You like that. There we go. Which one are you using? Oh, cactus seeds. Thank you for using the one I have plenty of. I appreciate it. It's very rare that the game actually helps you out like that. And let me go. Um, I have... No other red dyes, but I can do this quick, fast, and easy. And go ahead and grab, like, poppy seeds. Yeah. And we can just plant those real quick, water them up, and get some dyes real quick. And then I'm going to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally forgot about that. I got to show you this. So, 
I have been grinding away at beta as well, right? And working on some of the seeds that we wanted to get. And some of those seeds are pretty useful for us. A thing I've been having a hard time, you know, keeping stock of is quartz. So we basically went through beta here and, you know, we got, oh, I can claim these blue bags. Uh, we made some glowstone plants making some niter wart and that was just a uh, nether wart and uh, I forget what the cross flower was, but uh, basically do it on soul sand with a block of glowstone under it and it makes niter wart. Then I took the niter wart and mixed it with our lavender seeds and that had a block of quartz under it and we got the quartz plant. And so now if I fall down here, I don't have my things on, we got quartz here and it's just grown away. And then I made this one because I'm, I'm planning on having a lot. And so we already have 120 quartz shards. And I believe it's, uh, I think it was nine to one. I actually didn't even look at that because I was just letting it do its thing. So quartz shard is used, yeah, nine to one. And then we could also make these carrot seeds, which are kind of interesting. They're kind of like potions made with seeds. Like you plant them and you get these crazy carrots and they have seeds. And I, yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. So anyways, back to getting our dyes here. We're going to need, I think, six more. I think I already got two red. So we're going to need now three more. And then we'll be good. And we will have another achievement done. I love getting achievements done. It really gives you a nice sense of accomplishment. And it's a good direction. Like, hey, this is what we need to go work. Let's do it. Right? And that's what this is all about. There we go. So we got those six. Go ahead and throw you back in there. And now we can go make our last, uh, there we go. Boop. And I, hold on, hold on. Um, that's what you're called. Topiary, right? Oh, there's those 10. What are these called? Oh, um, well, let's just look up grass then. There's you and there's you. Okay. So I need to make one more topiary. That's okay. We can do that. Um, or one more batch of topiary, I should say. There we go. And now I need two more blues. Actually, that's gonna give me those 12, right? Yes. Yeah, and then just two more blues, cool. So we've got, the, come on. So we've got this uh, locked down here. One, two, bingo. And that should be objective complete, right? Yep, there it is. Cool. So we are rocking on alpha, like seriously rocking. Uh, ooh, and we get a loot chest for it. It's probably going to be crummy, but whatever. All right, so beta, we've got our glowstone plants. Let's go ahead and claim those. Oh, it's just a chance cube. That's fair. They in themselves are a pretty freaking sweet deal. So, all right, so we've got all those claimed, and I don't think I have any new unclaimed ones. Low, no. No, we're doing good there. Yeah, okay. So yeah, the wither. That's, that's I think, the plan for today. So first thing I need to do is I want to make a beheading tool. I don't have any stencils. Well, let us make some stencils real quick. Uh, yeah, so we're going to make a beheading sword and uh, load it up with some obsidian. And I think it's obsidian and ender pearls, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's been a while, but yeah, I believe that's what it is. Um, oh wait, no, they're blank patterns. That's what these are called. There we go. So let's make up just a couple of you. I don't think I need more than two actually. Uh, just the handguard and the sword blade. Okay, so there's you. I know you're the cleaver blade, right? And then I believe it's this one. I believe it's this one. Let me double check on, yeah, you're over here. Let's double check before I do this. Uh, cleaver, cleaver, where you at? Cleaver, where's the cleaver? There we go. Oh no, it's the big one. Okay, and then tough. Oh, okay, cool. Easy peasy. Macaroni and cheesy. All right, so we gotta make this blade up. Oh, I already did that. Huh. Okay, so we need you, and we need you, and a couple tough rods. I'm really not too overly worried about the durability of this bad boy. So let's take you out. Let's go ahead and put our blade in. And I'd like to make it out of steel. <laughs> and I happen to have steel. Uh, what is the 
uh, it's a material cost of eight, so that's not going to happen. We'll make it out of... I've got tons of invar. Um, yeah, we'll make it out of invar. Like I said, I'm really not overly worried about, you know, the, the durability of the sword and stuff like that. It's literally going to be to just go behead some wither uh, skeletons real quick-like. And I might actually make the rest of the pieces out of stone just for fun. Because, yeah, like I, I'm really, I can't stress that enough, really not worried about this thing. Uh, I'm not going to be using it a whole lot, but it'll be better than using the Ender, which we've been using. So, for that purpose, it's good. Um, hey, look at that. Now I got two of these. I'm going to throw one of those away. And what was the other one? I need Tough Rods. Tough Rods. Do I not? Did I never make a Tough Rod? Oh, there it is. I was like, how did I get this far without making a Tough Rod pattern? That was... That would have been interesting. Okay, so let's get some stone. Uh, that'll work. Go make the other three parts up right here. Yep. Oh, look, and there's my regular one. Okay. All right, so wait, get in there. Weirdest thing today about not being able to get stuff in there. All right, there's you. And you and you. There we go. Just a nice cheesy invar. <laughs> did I, did it make it already? Oh yeah, because it was on autofill. Cool. And there we go. And so cleaver, you, you. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. You all just went to the wrong spots. Because why would you go to the right ones? Uh, can I not use stone? Oh man. Okay. Well, that was a waste. What do I need? What materials can I do these out of? Um, no, I need to look at you. Uh, let's see. Dark wood, <laughs> Certus Quartz, Nether Quartz, Mana Steel. You know what? Let's just do... Let's do dude, I got a ton of Certus Quartz. Let's do Certus Quartz. I've never put Certus Quartz as a part on a weapon before. So that'd be fun. Little spacey-like. Uh, that's charged. That's regular. That's blocks. Um, one, two. There we go. All right, cool. So we'll go make those parts out of Certus Quartz. Something new and different for us today. There we go. There's you. One, two. There we go. This is an interesting sword. Totally new to me. Um, back to the cleaver. Okay, cool. So you guys go like that and like that. And I have an Invar Cleaver with Certus Quartz on it. Not a bad durability. <clears throat> now, what I want to do is uh, get a stack of Obsidian and some Ender Pearls. Obby, I have plenty of. Let me just throw... I, I should have thrown those away, but whatever. Uh, that, you're good there. I, I'm, I'm feeling very clustered right now. Too much stuff in my inventory. Uh, okay, Obsidian... Obsidian, there we go. So let's grab like it's probably gonna be less than ten. Like it's like ten percent per or whatever, but I'm gonna grab twelve just to make sure we have enough. And then we're gonna go grab some uh ender pearls from the farm over here. And I haven't had any cows in a while. Uh I mean I've collected all the cows that have popped up, but I've only had like one vanilla cow in like the last, I don't know, while, so Alright, twelve. Perfect. So this should stack on beheading. Oh, you know what? These are modifiers. I should have done it out of magical wood. Darn it. I should have done it out of magical wood, so I got all the modifiers. Let's let's make up another sword blade. Um, eight. Nope, eight. There we go. Yeah, so we're going to make up another sword blade there. And we are going to make up some more Certus Court stuff. One... I'm going to go grab some more Certus Quartz. Yes, because I'm going to make the exact same sword, but we're going to do it so we have a whole bunch of modifiers too. So let's do that again while that's cooking up. Uh, one, two, three, just to make sure we got enough. There we go. And we will make this bad boy all over again, swapping out the parts. Actually, I only need one of you because the rest is going to be out of magical wood. But I need to bring the magical wood. I need to bring the magical wood over here. Oh, my brain works. I promise it does. I, I promise it does. Not all the time, but it does work. Okay, there we go. So, back to you. So, magical wood there. And both of those. Two of them. Thank you. 
And we'll put you back in there and grab the cleaver. Got you. Perfect. Ooh, that was 20 pieces. All right, can we get out of my inventory? Thank you. Uh, yeah, okay. So now, I'm going to take you out. You were just a trial to see what you looked like. That's what you were. I just wanted to see how pretty you were going to be. You're, you're kind of pretty. All right. So now this has nine modifiers on it. Perfect. Then I can take you and go like that. Nope. I guess maybe only the Invar can swap out. Maybe that's what it is. All I can do is just swap out the Invar blade. I don't, maybe I can't swap out the other parts. I don't know. Um, okay, cool. So now it's an Invar cleaver. Still has nine modifiers. Awesome. And that, and that, and that gives me beheading. And that's a 30% chance. That's, uh, I just lost sight of it. 40%. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. This should be a hundred percent chance of beheading now. Yep. Awesome. 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 Probably doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, plus eight attack damage. Yeah. I mean it four hearts right now. What does this guy do? That's six. Actually it's better. Um, Okay, yeah, cool. Let us put some of this away. I don't need the gear on me right now. And yeah, then we can put the rest of this away. And we can open this up, see the loot crates, and then go get ourselves some wither heads and rock and roll on the wither today. A fortune cookie. And book cooking for blockheads. This one says, why use lightsaber when can have diamond sword with sharpness five? Okay, sure. It really does say some interesting things sometimes. Not the most useful, but you know, kind of interesting stuff sometimes, whatever. Uh, do we have everything we need? Uh, my armor's good. I have my saturation, so that'll fill back up in just a minute. Yeah, so off to the nether to go find wither skeletons. I wonder if, well, does this have any modifiers left? Oh, I got eight modifiers on this. Why don't I just put beheading on this? Okay, I'm gonna keep my sword because I'm gonna need the sword anyways. Why not just put beheading on my freaking awesome bow? Then I can just take him out from long range. And I've got all my modifiers left because I don't think I've ever modified this thing. All right, so beheading 20%, 20%. It's not changing it. Hold on. Still chance to be has 20%. I added beheading too, and it's still just 20%. Well, still just 20% with beheading through. I wonder if that's a visual glitch or what, but we'll take it. Let's go find ourselves some wither skeletons. Um, it would be nice if I could put like beheading on, like if there was a good enchantment, I could put beheading on these spikes, but I don't know if the spikes will behead at all. So... It's an interesting thing to, to find out. Let me, oh man. See, this thing pulls through walls. And so as I run by the farm, it, uh, yeah, it takes stuff. I don't want any of that right now, but thank you. Thank you for the offer. All right, there you go. And let us go find a couple wither skeletons. We need what, four, three, three. I know how to, I know how to make a wither. What am I thinking? All right. So here we go, off to the nether. I really, after losing my my, my boots that allow me to uh, sneak on air, I, oh, hey, hey, leave me alone. Mobs are always getting across. They're spawning on the other side and coming here and greeting me constantly. I need to do something to prevent that. But, oh, oh, hello, Mr. Wither Skeleton over there. I already see you. Good, good, good. Let us pick you off. I need to get a little bit of building blocks. Oh, you know what? Yes, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. The Dev Null, right? The Dev Null. If you have this in your inventory, as you can see, I have a full stack. And if I click right, I can place with it or whatever. But check this out. It's a nice way. If you've already got too many of a certain block that you don't want to mess with, right? It picked all that up, but it's not in my inventory. 
This fills up a stack and then just stays there. Yes, I was so excited when I saw that. I don't remember <coughs> how long ago I was. I saw that thing, but I was like kind of looking around um, the other day, like two days ago, trying to figure out if there's any interesting stuff that you know I haven't seen in a while that I would like to see. And I just noticed the dev null was actually in here, and it is so very useful because it you know it's just a constant stack of blocks, right? But I don't have to like have full inventory anymore. It's like when I'm in the nether and I'm trying to mine, I can get rid of all the, the nether rack. All right, guys. Let's do this. I see the head because it's 100% beheading. Oh, so nice. So, so nice. All right. So I'm going to go around. Well, actually, we only need one more. I'm sure I can find another wither within a couple minutes or a couple seconds actually because I got everything else I need and I'm actually going to take on the wither um, at our well at our base may not be the best idea I was like you know I can do it at the base because I'm pretty sure the bow is going to one shot him um, I mean if it two shot at the ender I'm assuming it's probably going to one shot the the wither but you never know you can never be too certain about these things uh, there, okay, there, I need to figure out a safe way to get down here. Okay, you stop burning. Um, let's just vein mine you. There we go. Oh, haha, you stay there. Whoop, it's raining. I forget what those guys are called, but. Oh, well, hello. I don't like you guys, leave me alone. There we go. Um, there we go. All right. So we are going to find a wither skeleton around here somewhere. It's, it's, it's bound to happen. I just don't want to get hit in this lava. Uh, oop, there we go. Did you die? Yeah, you did. There you go. There we go. Got you guys all. Oh, there's one more. Oh, the poor little spirit is burning. Oh, poor little spirit. All right, let's just, there we go. Build a bridge. All the stuff I don't want to have in my inventory. All this freaking lava because of all the vein mining I've been doing. It's the, yeah, okay. Let's make sure the blocks were under me just in case I fell. All right. Um, where are we going to find a wither at? Or wither skeleton, I should say. There we go. I hear gassed. All right, here we go. We'll find a wither skeleton around here somewhere. Come on. Okay, does it behead the magma? That would be funny. Um, I hear a spider. I, I don't like these spiders, they're annoying. All right, what's this? This is Osium. And that is Ozium as well. All right. Looking, looking, looking. Come on, Wither Skeletons. Oh, hello. There you are. I knew I'd find you eventually. Yeah, all your little babies need to get lost. I thought that was one of the small ones. Apparently, I was wrong. Come on. Oh, that's another big one. Arrgh. All these spiders, man. Chill out. Oh, they're just everywhere. All right. Sounds like most of them are gone now. Okay. So, off to find a wither skeleton. Um, this, yeah, okay, this keeps going. Oh, this is a blaze room. That's not what I'm looking for. Wither, wither, wither. Shouldn't be this hard. Right, should be nice and easy. Oh, come on, leave me alone. You guys can't like handle this. Oh, one of them got actually got webbed out on me. Okay, I haven't seen another. Oh, there's part of a fortress right there. You guys are far enough not to bother me. I think yeah, that's the blazes I was just looking at. Really, come on. Hey, 
They're coming out of nowhere now. Okay. Whew. Um, you stay over there. I'm just going to kind of try to avoid you. Mr. Gast. Yeah, there you go. Who's hitting me? How, where did you come from? Leave me alone. Okay. We are going to go find a wither skeleton. And once we do... Oh, my goodness. They're not hard to kill, but they're annoying to constantly deal with. Especially the mamas. I don't mind the babies as much because I kill them so quickly. But the mamas create the babies. And then I've got like six of them to take on. So, anyways, we're going to go find another wither skeleton. Once we do... We are going to go ahead and beat up on the wither. So we will be back once I find one more wither head. So we'll be back. So I went with the easy idea and just went back to where I got the other two and see if there was another one that respawned. And here one is. Hey, no wither in me, sir. So now I've got my three wither heads. Awesome. That task is complete. And then I saw soul sand around here somewhere. I don't remember exactly where I was at, but I saw Soul Sand relatively close. We're just going to take the wither on here. Oh, oh, hey. You need chill. You're just going to die. Okay, cool. And we should be able to find some soul. I know I saw it somewhere around here. Ah, right down there. That's Soul Sand, right? Yes, it is. All right, cool. So let's go get ourselves four pieces of Soul Sand. And we're just going to take the wither on here. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Hey, get back here. Ooh, another necrotic bone. Um, what don't I need? There we go. I don't need you. My magnet on. My magnet's not on. No wonder that soul sand went flying. All right, cool. There we go. Now we got our four pieces of sand. We'll just go do this up there, right where we kill the the wither, uh, the wither skeleton. Why can't I call one the right name? It's wither skeleton, and we're gonna make the wither, right? Or not make summon. I think summon's a better term. Sounds a little more game-like, or like, you know, yeah, whatever I'm trying to say. All right, so this is what we're trying to get into. All right, and yeah, up here. Yeah, haha, -ha, there we go. What's that? Oh, okay. So let us summon this piece of junk. And actually, we're going to get our first nether star. I didn't. <laughs> How funny is it that the nether star didn't even come to mind? I'm just like, yeah, whatever. All right, cool. So you, 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 you and you. There we go. All right, buddy. It's game time. It's game time. Come on. Yep, that was fast. Oh, is that two nether stars? Okay, I'm sorry. That was, that was a wee bit too easy. <laughs> The fight hadn't even begun and he was already dead. Well, the wither has been beaten. Easy peasy. And there's another wither skeleton. And we're going back that way anyways. All right. Well, that's it. <clears throat> we're just knocking bosses off left and right nowadays. I'll go ahead and karate chop you. I actually, I feel kind of bad because right after I paused uh, between, you know, this one and the last one. Um, I did actually find a wither skeleton a couple seconds later, and then I realized that I shot him with my bow, which was completely pointless, and yeah, so, but let's go ahead and behead this pigman too, because I know occasionally I need heads for, uh, ender IO stuff, and so might as well just grab as many heads as I can while I'm here, which that's probably the last one, because we're going to the portal right now, and we've gotten the wither beaten, so... Not all that too much excitement, but wow, did he die so quickly. That was kind of sad. Like, it wasn't even a remote challenge. Oh. All right. Oh, and here we are. We are back. We're home. I got to remember to be a little more careful because I don't have my sneaking boots anymore. So I can't just like, you know, kind of run around aimlessly knowing that I can catch myself. But uh, we will we'll get there. But we'll get our flight or something like that. I have been taking a look at the, uh, what is it called? Um, this stuff, the Zavikio, you know, getting, getting going on those right now. I realized that I way over counted because to get the weak infusion stone, we, we get the ball of terror cell, which we already have or the block of terror cell. This one is just converting that, right? This one is just converting that. 
This one just converting that. So I only need the four, right? Because this one turns into this one, which turns into that. So I'll have that. So I only need four. So I just need to get three more, which means I only need 36 more blocks of terror steel, which will actually be pretty easy. And I might do that in between this episode and next. I'm not 100% sure. What I can tell you I am going to do is definitely make... Um, um, wow brain fart i was like looking at all the stuff i'm throwing away and uh yeah <laughs> what was i gonna say i'm definitely making something uh, yeah i'm definitely making something i'll remember what it was um but yeah so i was looking at well let's claim these guys real quick hopefully i get something good out of one of these Ooh, an extra life oh yes heart canisters that's what i was gonna say i'm definitely gonna make some heart canisters definitely in need of those um well, I wouldn't say I'm definitely in need of them, but I definitely want to make them. They serve a good purpose. And you know what? I've got a couple hearts. Let's let's see how many hearts we can get ourselves up to. Now I'm at seven lives remaining. All right, so now I'm at seven hearts remaining, and I've got quite a few. I've got four halves, so there we go. And then one, two, three, four quarters, right? So there's one more heart. And there's two more hearts. And now we are up to 10 lives. So I'm feeling a lot safer, which is good because I do have the probability of dying pretty easily. Uh, transmutable EMC source converted to... Okay, so that is stuff with EMC, okay? I'm not 100% sure about how EMC all works, but I do know that it's something that I'm going to want to look into relatively... Well, I don't know if it's soon... But I know it's kind of like equivalent exchange or something to that effect. Um, what is it called? The mill. Mills in the title. It's a check. It's, 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 there it is. This is really simple to me. Uh, oh, maybe not. I don't know what this stuff is. Medium convalence dust, low convalence dust. Make the same thing. And high convalence dust. What is this? That's charcoal and cobblestone gives you... Four Okay, so what does this mill do? I know this is an achievement, actually. This is a quest. Um, yeah, wow, we're almost done with Alpha, guy. Almost done! Oh, and Beta's not too looking too shabby either, but I'm going to definitely... In the meantime, I'm probably going to save up to get the Terra Steel to get these, uh, so at least I can get to the Extreme Infusion. And maybe we'll get to the Zavikio Furnace, which I don't think it's too challenging to make. It might be. I might need the Extreme Furnace for that one, actually. But this is a quest. I know this is a quest. This is under Theta, I think. Yeah, it's right there. Just one of them. Let's make that bad boy up. Um, I'm going to need some charcoal. So wood. Let me make a piece of charcoal real quick. <clears throat> and then just cobblestone. That This seems like a little bit too simple for a quest. But I ain't going to question it. You know what I'm saying? Um, mill. That's right, so we're making you. So I need you. Like that. Whoop. Can't. Cobblestone. Really? You're not going to autofill my cobble? Really? Come on. There we go. Thank you. And then now I can bring up the mill. I know I'm kind of skipping way ahead on this theta one, but let's be honest. This is like super simple. Like, that was super simple. Now, what does this guy do? Because I know I got a whole bunch of these things from the end dragon too. So do I, two Aether coins are required to create an alchemical coin. You currently have zero. Okay. So let me grab some of these coins because I got some from the ender dragon and well, as I just got some from, okay. So what exactly is, that? I see it little popping up there. Okay, so I'm really, it's, I saw, is it under here? Yeah, like I have 64 coins. Huh. What does that mean? <laughs> I really got to look into it because it's Project E Aether Edition. And so is that. So this is Aether. So I got to find out what those coins are all about. I'm really not sure. But it's, okay, and then the coins are coming back out. All right, so now I got 19 here, and I only got 20. 
I don't understand how this works. I don't. But we've got the mill, and that was an achievement, so I'm, you know, chalking up as a win. Claim. Oh, it's just one of the Icos Agents. I don't even get a loot chest out of it. Come on. I don't have any loot chests in here, do I? No, I don't. I got loot bags I gotta get rid of. Alright, well, we're, we've got that accomplishment, and we could also probably do um, the Erebus, or Erebus. That's what I'm gonna call it, Erebus. So that might be something <coughs> that I look forward to in tomorrow's episode is uh, getting the stuff ready for the Erebus Dimension. That will allow me to actually get the red gems so I can make the fire furnace. So I think I've got an idea for uh, tomorrow's episode. I think we've got a set path is we're gonna head to Erebus, right? Hopefully it's not too dangerous, but once I get more of these heart canisters, because I think I now have like three yellow hearts, if I look at my inventory, I think I have three yellow hearts. I got six, okay, cool. So that'll take me up to, well, I think one of my pieces of armor, which adds hearts, isn't currently adding hearts. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Last thing for today. I got all that kitchen stuff and I've never used it. I can't remember if it's the dishwasher or if it's the washing machine. I know it's one of them, but I've got our super soapy water here and we are going to fix our armor that we have on us because it's, well, it's kind of a necessity. All right, okay, so your weapons, your armor. Awesome, All right? So Super Soapy goes up there, and let's throw these. I don't know if these wash, actually. They don't. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, cool. All right, so put you guys in there and wash it. Wait a minute. Is this the one you have to do the trick on? Let me see. Let us... Make some cheap iron armor. Like so. I'm going to need a helmet. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? All right. <laughs> There's a leather helmet. A leather chest plate. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There we go. And I don't know if I have enough leather for pants. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, I do. Cool. All right, so let's put this junky armor on real quick. And what's something that kind of hurt me around here? Oh, you know what? I think I can just jump in my smell tree. Don't I, I don't have anything in my smell tree right now. So that's not going to work. Um, and I don't have any building blocks, so this was a bad idea. Uh, um, yeah, I need something that's going to hurt me. So my armor will take damage, and then I can wash it and swap it out, I believe. It's been a long time. Actually, I saw someone do it on a series a long time ago. Oh, you know what? I can go hit a cow because apparently now we have cows. And I know the pigs are pretty volatile too. So let us go punch one of them. Wow, all these vanilla cows. I want fluid cows. Boom. Thank you. Did that do damage all? Yes, it did. Perfect. Although... That, that might fix them really quick. I don't know. So let's see if this works. Let's see if this trick-a-doodle works. All right. So taking all my armor off, putting it in here like so, start it up, take those out, put those in. Does this work? Please tell me it works. Let's see. Yes, it is. Durability is going up. All right, cool. So the cheatsy doodle method still works. Awesome. So that way I can fix up my armor. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to automate my... Let me get away from that because that's really loud. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and automate my legendary loot bags. So they start opening so I can start getting more of the blacker lotuses as well as I... W oh, that's the portal down there. I was like, what is that noise? Um, as well as I want to start getting some of this uh yeah this stuff um raw mana essence and it comes from just crafting down the artifacts as well as i want to go look through the artifacts and try to find some better armor wow hiccup so that'll be something i'll be doing in the meantime is uh automating our legendary loot bags because i don't want everything that's coming out of those bags so i'm just going to filter just for artifacts and um uh, yeah, like Blacker Lotuses, Ender Pearl, stuff like that. 
That's going to be really loud. Um, does this? Do we have cardboard boxes? Do we have? Ah, we do. Um, sawdust. Oh, I don't have a sawmill yet. Oh, but the sag mill does it. Okay, cool. Let's throw some planks in and make up some cardboard boxes because that's just going to be annoying. And this is how we're going to end our episode, making cardboard boxes because that's like the most exciting thing I can come up with at the moment. All right, so there we go. I don't need a lot, just enough to cover both of those for the future. All right, cool. So um, what was it, just like this? Yep, that's it. We got two, one, two. And if you guys have never seen these before, um, I remember seeing it a long time ago. It works like a silencer. You just throw a cardboard box over it and it shuts them up. Just shift right click to get it back. Plain and simple, it shuts them up. And it's still working. It's still doing the thing. It's just doing it quietly. So cardboard boxes, nice. And I believe they work on almost any machine. I believe. Let me double check that, but hey, where'd that get over here? I think I can put it on pretty much, yeah, any machine. So that's kind of nice. So yeah, we got cardboard boxes. So yeah, I think today was a pretty productive episode. We went, we killed the wither. Yep, we did that. We've got that achievement done and alpha's almost done. Alpha's almost complete. We just got to get some of the simple things done and then Erebus will be next. So we'll go and be able to get that health furnace. And then I don't know what the recipe is for the extreme furnace. Let's check that one out while we're here, just so I can start making plans with you guys. The extreme furnace is um, mercury ingots, which is going to be through Galacticraft. So that's going to be a little bit of ways. The energetic alloy gear. Those are real simple to make. <coughs> the tungsten heat coils, that's easy. That's like in the shape of a, yeah. That's simple. Blaze rods, easy. But the mercury ingots, that's going to be a ways away because we can't just make mercury. Yeah, that comes from a planet that we've never been to before. So the extreme furnace is a ways away. But we can definitely do the hell furnace uh, probably next episode. So awesome. With that, as I hope you guys are enjoying uh, what we're doing here and I hope you're enjoying the series and I hope you guys want to see more because I want to be able to do more with you guys and enjoy myself and or enjoy ourselves <laughs> and uh, if you guys have any advice for me or anything I should be you know any direction you see me heading in uh, let me know and if you have any like you know useful advice or anything like that please put it down in the comments so if you did like today's episode and want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button. Or sorry, the like button. That's what I was going for. But if you're new to the channel and you want to see more like it, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.